periodically waste validation program is in place to ensure that potentially infectious biological waste generated by labs operating at biosafety level 2 has been effectively treated prior to disposal into the regular waste stream. According to Illinois Environmental Protection Agency IEPA, anyone generating and treating infectious biological waste by autoclave shall perform and record validation results at least monthly. This video will provide you with a demonstration on how to perform the waste validation using spore vial indicators and how to log the results on the Division of Research Safety DRS website. To prepare for the validation, you will need the following items. A representative bag of biohazard waste equaling in size and volume or fullness to most of your other waste generated. DRS recommends not letting your autoclave bags get more than 75% full. A starter kit obtained from DRS containing test and control spore vials, a crusher tool, and a wooden dowel. Appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE which includes a lab coat, disposable and heat resistant gloves, safety glasses, and a full face shield. An autoclave safe secondary container for transporting and autoclaving your waste in typically made of polypropylene or stainless steel, autoclave tape and regular lab tape, a heat block, incubator or water bath set to 55 degrees Celsius, access to an autoclave in the building where the waste is generated. To begin the waste validation, don appropriate PPE. If splashes are anticipated when handling the waste, wear full face protection. Open the starter kit obtained from DRS and inspect its contents. Take out the spore vial indicator and check the expiration date. The vial has heat resistant bacterial spores on a piece of paper at the bottom and vents on the top to let steam in while autoclaving. Place your bag of biohazard waste into an autoclave safe secondary container. Secure the spore vial to the end of the wooden dowel using autoclave tape or heavy duty lab tape. Do not cover the holes on the top of the vial. Position the end of the dowel rod with the taped spore vial into the center of the waste load, allowing the opposite end of the dowel rod to stick out of the bag. Close the bag around the end of the dowel rod for transport using regular tape, autoclave tape or twist ties. Before transporting your waste to the autoclave room, remove PPE and wash your hands. Do not wear PPE in the hallway. A cart is recommended for transporting all items including the sealed waste in a secondary container, a clean lab coat, disposable gloves and safety glasses. Before handling the waste at the autoclave, don PPE. Loosely open the biohazard bag leaving at least 2 inch opening to allow steam to enter. Remove gloves, place it in the bag then place the container with the waste in the autoclave. Wash your hands as soon as feasible. Autoclave the material for a minimum of 60 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit at 15 PSI. An initial test run will determine if additional time is necessary depending on the load size and autoclave used. After the cycle is complete, wear PPE including heat resistant gloves, lab coat and safety glasses. While opening the autoclave, face away to avoid steam exposure. Remove the waste and let it cool down. Don disposable gloves and reseal the autoclave bag. Remove PPE, wash hands and transport all items back to your lab. Always wear PPE when handling the waste and treat the vial and the dowel in the biohazard bag as potentially infectious until test results indicate it has been effectively sterilized. Retrieve the spore vial from the bag and cool for at least 10 additional minutes since the vial was hot and pressurized. Decontaminate any surface that may have been in contact with the vial. Do not discard the autoclave bags until the validation test is complete and passed. Reseal the autoclave waste bag and set aside to proceed with the validation test. To perform the validation test, place the test spore vial that was autoclaved along with your biological waste into the crusher tool. Gently apply pressure to break the inner ampule containing purple media. When done correctly, the paper will appear saturated. 
Next, use the Crusher tool to activate a control spore vial that has not been autoclaved. This will serve as a control to ensure that the bacterial spores, when not inactivated via autoclave, grow well. This must be performed initially and at least once annually. Incubate the vials in a vertical position in an incubator, heat block or water bath set to 55 degrees Celsius for 12 to 24 hours. If using a water bath, ensure that the brown cap of the vial and the holes on the top are not submerged under water. After the appropriate incubation time, check the color of the media in the vials. The vials have spores and growth media with a color indicator which is initially purple. If the spores are able to grow when incubated at 55 degrees Celsius, then the media will turn from purple to yellow. The control spore vial, which has not been inactivated by an autoclave, should turn yellow since the spores are viable and can grow. Discard this vial in a biohazard bag to be autoclaved later. The test spore vial that was autoclaved along with your biological waste should remain purple. A purple color means that the spores did not grow and were successfully inactivated by the autoclave. If the spores were inactivated, this also means your waste was decontaminated. This indicates a past test. You can now place your biohazard bag in an opaque trash bag, seal the bag and discard this in regular trash. If your autoclaved test spore vial turned yellow after incubation, the spore vials were able to grow and failed the test. This means that the waste was not fully decontaminated and must be re-autoclaved with a new spore vial. Decontaminate the incubation heat source used and any surfaces that may have been in contact with the vial with the disinfectant approved in your IBC registration. Discard any vials with growth, including the failed and controlled vials, in a biohazard bag to be autoclaved later. To troubleshoot a failed autoclave validation test, check the recorder chart from the autoclave to ensure that the correct temperature and cycle time were reached during the cycle. If they were reached, then proceed by altering one or more parameters when you re-autoclave. Most often, a small change in parameters like an increase in cycle time can be an effective solution. Other changes that have often found to be effective are adding half a cup of water to dry waste loads altering your loading technique and positioning of your bag in the autoclave. After completing the autoclave cycle, repeat the spore vial check until you have verified that the vial has passed the test. Use the newly optimized parameters for future autoclave cycles on similar loads. Monthly validation results should be entered on the DRS website for each principal investigator or PI working at Biosafety Level 2 containment. To report results, log into the DRS website using your email address and password. Click on Profile and select Autoclave Waste Validation located under Facility Info. Use the Add New button located in the blue bar in the upper right hand corner to enter a validation result. Select the responsible person or PI from the drop-down menu. Then select the reporting month for the result being entered, followed by details on the current and past validation results. You may be prompted to give details on the autoclave used, date tested, cycle name, temperature, duration, and pass or fail. Click the Add Attempt button to enter your results. Save your validation results by hitting the Save button in the upper right hand corner. For shared lab spaces, only one validation needs to be performed monthly for waste generated from multiple labs. However, results should be entered individually for each lab. Spore vials and starter kits can be requested from DRS website if you are enrolled in the validation program due to an IBC project requiring you to autoclave BL2 materials. Log into your profile using your email address and password. Located under Profile, Request Materials, you can select Spore Vials. Fill in the details including the responsible person or PI, location where you would like the vials to be delivered, and the number of vials needed. When performing an autoclave validation for the first time, or if you do not have a crusher tool and dowel, use the comment box to request for them. Hit the Save button to finalize your request. 
save the obtained Crusher tool and dowel for future validations. For any questions, please reach out to us at drs.illinois.edu.